welcome my peeps my peoples please like comment subscribe share the video it would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart my peeps my peoples so let's talk about black ink crew new york season six episode nine let's talk about you know scott she believes that young bay is possibly lying about her father abusing her mother she thinks it's it's all a story and i wonder when did you know sky come up with this conclusion was it this episode searching around and looking for bay's mother and all the different stories that bay said you know about living in that you know um that trash yard or that shipyard and you know you know going to her mom's house you know can't find the mom's cell phones there the bed ain't made up um the house is freezing cold and shit like that so, and then she got a detective, you know, can't find Bay's sister because Bay has a sister. Has Bay been in contact with her sister in 10 years or what's going on with that situation? Where is Bay's sister? And, um, you know, no aunts, no cousins, no nothing. But, you know, Bay said, well, the reason why is because, you know, my mom married my father, which is a poor man. And my mother comes from a very wealthy family. And um, since she married a poor man, they don't forgive her for that. So I was like, so what do you guys think? Do you think Bay is lying or is she telling the truth? I'm 50% think she's lying, 50% think she's telling the truth. <laughs> so I'm like here or there with it. But it does sound kind of crazy. But as we all know, sometimes um, fiction is strict. The fi truth is stranger than fiction sometimes. So you never know. And, you know. Some people think that Bay's doing this for attention. She needs a storyline or whatever just to keep it popping. So it is what it is with that situation. But, you know, they are on their way to the airport. And guess who is in first class? None other than Sky and, you know, Caesar. The rest of them are in <laughs> and regular. They're in coach. They're in regular class. And, you know, Sky's having a good time. She's eating it. She's enjoying it. Then she goes and sees the other guys and, t and filming them. They're all uncomfortable. They're cramped up and all this other stuff. I was like, damn, how come they all couldn't fly first class? Like, yo, favoritism. Even Ted didn't get into first class. <laughs> I was just like, yo, I. Right, that's how we do it like that? That's how we do it? <laughs> then Young Bay sits there sad, but it seems like Young Bay, Young Bay was nervous. And she could have possibly been nervous because she hasn't seen her mother in 10 years. She hasn't been back to Korea in 10 years, but it seems like, you know, when they started to ask questions, the cr the cries and stuff kept coming and happening. So, but that could be a part of her just emotional um, destruction that she's going through right now, going back into her past. This sounds like an intervention session where they need, you know, a counselor there because she's reliving everything that was a nightmare. See them pregnancy tests? You see how much they are? They can't be that much, right? So, anyways... You know, Sky was like, so they're on the bus. Sky was like, you don't got no sister, you don't got no aunts. Like, come on, what's up? You know, and, and then you know, um, Seas was like, yo, Sky, did you talk? I mean, um, Bay, did you talk to your family? Did you talk to your family at all? And Bay was like, no, I haven't talked to any of them because you know I told you the story already. So she, she was like, you know, they disowned my mom and me. And so Sky was like, I'm really feeling what you're saying. I'm really feeling you. I got you because you know I'm like the black sheep too. I'm like the black sheep. And I totally get, I totally understand it because, you know, I've been looking for, my mother goes missing all the time, especially when I was younger. And, you know, you having your mom missing, you know, even those two different scenarios, but we will kind of end up at the same place, chasing for your missing mother. So, you know, it's funny how Sky's seeing all this, but then, you know, next episode, she thinks Bay is lying about her father and the mistreatment and all this other stuff. Um, you know, we had Duchess go on the reference club and say that, you know, Black ink is fake and all this other stuff, and she proved it. So knowing that and, you know, why is, you know, um, Sky coming after Young Bay thinking that she's a liar or whatever, not talking to her privately, not talking to her off camera or whatever, just to find out if it's real or not. Why do it on camera? Why is Sky wanting to call out Young Bay? Um, you know, people, you know, forgave Sky when, you know, some people saying that, you know, she said she had twins. She didn't have twins. She said she had one baby father. Now there's two baby fathers. Says she gave them away when they were babies, newborns or whatever, and they weren't, they weren't at all or whatever. And then she didn't give them away. The mom gave them away. So sometimes the story can get, um, you know, it, sometimes stories can be misled or, you know, information just get out there wrong. Like we playing telephone, man, like we used to do when we was kids. So what do you guys think? So anyway, Sky is totally right now on Bay's side, but it's like, how did it, it really just end up her not believing what, you know, um, Young Bay is saying? 
so anyways, you know, um, Young Bay says she called the police. The police thinks it's a joke. It's not true because she's calling from a foreign number. She's calling from America. So they think it's a game. They think it's a joke or whatever. So it is what it is. And, you know, Steve's just like, yo, welcome to our family. Welcome to our black family. We might be dysfunctional, but we still family, you know. I was like, okay, Steve's is, is just <laughs> is down with the cause or whatever. And so then, you know, um, I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe Scott is calling out Young Bay, and um. Mm -mm -mm. But I like how Sky had on that mask. You know, she had the mask to protect her from the sickness, and so so did Ted. Ted ha had on the mask too as well, and so basically when they go to the mom's house, you know, Steve, you know, Ted is like, yo, this this shit don't seem real. Something seems wrong. Something don't seem right. And Steve's just like, ain't nobody been here in a long time because it's freezing in here. And so basically, Sky's having them look around and see if they can find clues. They find Young Bay Mom's phone, but it's locked. They can't get in it. They found a calendar. Then there's a prayer, like a note that's written to Bay or whatever. And then Bay starts to cry because she said, oh, maybe my mom knew that something was going to happen. So that's why she wrote this letter for me. And she said, my mom loves me. But she didn't mention her sister name. She still hasn't mentioned her sister name. So if this story is fake, I think Young Bay's family members are going to be coming out the woodworks now because they actually did go to Korea and being filmed. So word has spread around <laughs> just like i guess germs because that's why they got on the mask so i'm just like yo so anyways i'm surprised they didn't go to the police station maybe they could have filmed at the police station and you know when young bay went to the churches and things like that how come you know the crew didn't go with her just to show the extensive you know type of searching that they did and she talked to the detectives and stuff like that or when she dropped off the phone to, you know, the store to unlock it. How come the <laughs> the the cast or the cameras didn't film any of that? Maybe it wasn't interesting and maybe they did film it, but they decided not to air it. Because I guess they got to get permission. Who knows? So anyways, they enjoying the, you know, hotel that they're staying in. Steve's made sure that you would get the Korean experience. And, you know, they are so fascinated by the toilet. Ted sees the toilet. And Ted was like, I ain't never seen no shit like this. Oh, my God. And so then that's when um, Donna and Sky goes into the bathroom um sky rips off her pants takes down her pants you know she's bare ass she sits on the toilet donna's on the other side playing with it the korean you know um hostess or stat women statues whatever that was standing there watching just looking not saying a word watching sky i guess it got too hot it got too cold sky jumped up her her jj and her you know ass was all out everybody could see it it's like you know if you want this guy to change and be a different person it's not gonna happen you know what i mean her kids are just gonna have to watch on tv because this is how she makes her money this is how she gets down so it is what it is <laughs> so then anyway so that i thought that was like crazy that was funny but they was really amazed by the toilet or whatever and so um i was just like damn <laughs> i went kind of backwards with that but anyways so then, you know, we get to Back to Black Ink, and guess who shows up? None other than Tatiana. She's ready for round three, four, and five, but she know there ain't going to be no fight because Donna ain't there. See that tattoo that, you know, um, Tatiana did? She did it with one needle, like, pen and stick or whatever, one um, pen, one needle, and pen and stick or whatever. It looked like it was painful, but, like, the cousin didn't say anything or whatever. And it's an ancient method they used to use back in the day, whatever. And so she's very creative. She knows what she's doing. And, you know... Um, Jada is like, I don't, I don't know why she's back. She didn't got eggs. She didn't got food thrown her. She didn't got beat up and she keeps coming back for it. She is a sucker. <laughs> she might be, but I think she's trying to prove a point that, you know, she wants to be there. She's trying to make a name for herself and she's trying to show off her skills because somebody will be contacting her because I guarantee you there is a lot of people here that's going to want that ancient method of tattooing. So that was a good thing for her to show. And also she has a supporter. Her supporter is none other than, oh shit, oh shit, is filling her because, oh shit is just like yo she can tattoo too as well and you know she slapped donna in the face so i'm good with her because basically everybody was shocked that she knew how to tattoo but ted i mean but walter was saying that last episode when he was making fun of her i can tattoo i can pierce i can manage or whatever so i guess kev and jay didn't get the memo that she can do it all she's a multi-tasker <laughs> And she's multi-talented, and she's a jack of all trades. And she gets Ted's, I mean, she gets, you know, um, oh shit's approval for, you know, the tattooing. I was like, oh shit. So the tattoo looked, I, I it wasn't nothing amazing, but especially with that one needle, I was just like, damn. 
very soon. But that is a technique that is probably really good to know, especially when people want things differently. So, And that's the same thing Steve was saying when he went over to Korea. He wanted to learn some new methods, some new things, see some some Korean piercers, but they're not allowed to pierce. So he didn't bring his equipment because he didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> and so... Anyways, you know, so we meet, you know, Tatiana's cousin. Tatiana's cousin was her client. And so it is what it is with that situation. But she's in she's in the States because Donna's not there. Sky's not there. So it's all good. And so anyways, these guys go to, you know, uh, the strip or whatever, the supermarket. And one of my friends was telling me that the supermarket that they went to or something like that, where most of the people that are in Korea don't eat that food that they see, what happens is, like that's like a tourist attraction type of spot where they can try to do more for it and then they don't the natives really don't eat that food that's what i was told i'm not sure if that's absolutely 100 but i just have to tell you so anyways they go eat that food <laughs> they go to that market and i'm not eating anything that's living i'm not eating any parasites but maybe the parasites and, and the animals and the insects and the creatures and the reptiles and things like that that they were eating um, and insects, maybe, you know, they kind of maybe possibly take parasites out of your system and clear out your system, whatever, to eat it what's bad or bacteria that's inside of you or fungus or whatever, but I don't know. I'm not going to eat anything that's living. They had spiders, crabs. They had, you know, um, octopus and, <laughs> and things like that. Donna found her a little pet for a little while, but she had to give it back to the, to the city because... To, to the market people because, you know, she can't take it home and she can't bring it with her because it was going to die. Imagine Donna <clears throat> having an octopus. <coughs> so anyways, I was just like, damn, Donna was with the octopus. And then we got Ted and we had Miss Kitty, you know, almost hugging up, you know, lady in a tramp or whatever. And Sky's watching and Sky's getting jealous. I don't know why Sky's getting jealous because she ain't with Ted no more unless her and Ted are still dipping. See, that's so nasty. Shit was moving. And so, anyways, you know, it seems like Ted and Miss Kid are really friendly with each other. And um, they're sharing a bowl of noodles together. And, you know, um, Skye's not liking it. Because you remember back at the Halloween party, you know, um, Skye was like, Ted, keep your clothes on. Don't take nothing off because none of these bitches in here can have you. So, I guess Skye's a little possessive too as well. <laughs> So, um, but also remember last episode, Sky said, you know, Sky had said, last episode, Sky had said that, you know, when they was at the Korean teacher teaching them, you know, um, the native language of how to greet people, she said, oh my God, why the hell are we even going to Korea? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry, young bae. So I was telling you last week that I don't think that she really believes, you know, Bay's story. So I don't think she believes Bay's story back then, but then... I think that maybe being in a spirit and having s s similarities with Bay, missing mother, going to find her and stuff like that, and being, you know, like the black sheep that it kind of like got her basically on her side. Because when she said, then why the F are we going to Korea any anyway? And she said something else before when Bay was talking about her mom. So I don't think Sky ever believed it. Then why, did she, why is she crying if she didn't believe her? So, but I guess it's in the moment. But Sky can cry in a heartbeat. So she should be an actress yeah she's an actress <laughs> so anyways sky is feeling some type of way because she's like you know ted is off limits nobody should be talking to ted nobody should be around ted so it is what it is and so donna gives away the octopus the squid or whatever it was she gives it away give it away give it away give it away now so she gives it away whatever and so you know they go to that dump site or that that site where, you know, Young Bay and her mom used to hide away, hide from her father or whatever. And it's sad, it's depressing, it's awful, it's just really teary eyed. And it's just like, oh, Bray breaks down. I mean, Young Bay, she breaks down. It's just like, oh my goodness. And, you know, Ted was like, I thought that the projects was bad and some of the places in Harlem was bad, but this is ridiculous. And they're all like, horrified that she stayed there and lived there but she didn't live there she used to hide from her mother her father then he used to come there and he used to find her so they lived somewhere else i'm assuming and um it is what it is <laughs> i was just like damn and so anyways um they call the place a shithole because it really was a shithole so anyways you know they get into the spot is you know young bay as you know 
um, Sky and um, Donna basically, Young Bay's letting them know that she went to the church. She went here, she went there. She can't find her mother. And she got a private detective. But the way Donna and you know Sky looked at her when she was saying the story, it didn't seem like they believed that she was genuine at this point because they're like, damn, we ain't finding no ground. So anyways, Young Bay gets a call. They leave, and this is when Sky wants to know if if um. Ted and Miss Kitty has been doing anything on a DL and Donna was like well I don't want to tell you what I don't know I heard it was rumored that but when we went to Puerto Rico I heard that Kitty and Ted kissed and she knew so now she's mad she's upset and she's just she's riveted <laughs> over the situation and so anyways now they're getting ready to go to this b-boy thing they go to the b-boy thing and basically Sky goes off and she asks you know miss kitty has she ever kissed ted or whatever and she says no she goes no stop lying you lying bitch or whatever and all this other stuff she says f you ted or whatever she get back in miss kitty's face and say what you gonna do about it you know you're a slut you're this you're a hoe like you want everybody <laughs> you know she was just basically dissing her. she goes oh my pussy's in your face what are you gonna do about it and she had her whole face her whole mouth all in miss kitty's face but I don't think Miss Kitty wants to fight her, and I don't think it will be a good matchup. So I think Miss Kitty needs to go get borrow some spray, some mace from you know Duchess. <laughs> so I was just like, damn, damn, Sky, you gotta be that ridiculous, you gotta be that loud, you gotta be that ignorant over a kiss. You know, Donna done has sex with just about everybody. Didn't Donna have sex with Ted? Um, and everybody's been having sex with everybody. So now I guess Ted is off limits. And it's not that Ted is off limits. You just don't like Miss Kit at all. And you know she's not going to want to fight you back. Because the way that you was yelling and screaming in her face, you know she was not trying to fight you back or she was going to fight you back. Especially when you made that song about her calling her skin oily and all this other stuff. <laughs> when she looks like she smelled. You know, she was not trying to go. You know, she wasn't trying to go there at all with you. And so this is what Don, Don is, so last episode it was Don acting up. Now we got Sky acting up. So they they're trading places. They're tag team and but Sky is the ringleader and Donna is just a follower. Donna was like, damn I shouldn't have said anything but she did. Donna's been throwing up and been acting sick and all this other stuff. And, you know, Young Bay did throw up once or twice or whatever. And so whatever they're over there dancing and so then you know sky's cussing out miss kitty yelling her face calling her a bitch or whatever she gets off the bus and then that's when you know um donna follows her and gets off the bus as well and then once that happens tag is off the bus and he tries to talk to you know sky and sky punched him right in the face and had him like in a chokehold he didn't fight back and luckily he didn't fight back at all but it was wrong for her to just to walk up and just punch him in the face to show him violence so not only is she showing a pussy in her ass, she's also showing violence and ignorance to her kids. But you know what? Um, they've been raised by somebody else, so it's just it is what it is at this time and point. She got to make that money. She got to make that duck. And she got her youngest son that's around her that's in her house for him to live comfortable and have what he needs. And she's probably going to put them through college and buy them all the stuff that they need and help or whatever. So she got she to gotta make it work because it's not nothing lasts forever. And we don't know how long this show is going to be on TV. You never know. So she's doing what she got to do, whether, whatever cost it is. So anyways, she punched <laughs> Ted in the face, and which is wrong. No one should, women shouldn't be hitting men, especially if they don't want a man to hit them back. And so... Now that all of a sudden she went like up up the corner, fixed her wig and everything, and she was all back happy and excited. Sounds to me like she went, <laughs> she had that white girl. And so now she's ready to go. She's dancing. She's happy. She wants to have a Korean dick. She says she wants to get a Korean penis in her. She opens her legs on the bus. But anyway, she gets inside and she does find a Korean. She does leave with him. He was, <clears throat> he was actually attractive. And so then we get C's. He meets up with um, Jay Parks or whatever. I think he's um, he's like the Justin Bieber here, and he just signed to Rock Nation. And basically, he's showing C's his you know tats. And he was like, "Yeah, we tattoo on the low over here. It's an unspoken rule, you know, whatever." So then, then you have Donna and you know um, Bay. They think Donna's pregnant because she's running out the place throwing up and all this other stuff. And so then, boom, they go buy pregnancy tests, and um guess who's pregnant <laughs> donna's not pregnant it is young bay young bay takes a pregnancy test i believe they just incorporated that in there because it said that tech that you know sees and you know um 
Sky already knew that she was pregnant, and it also says that this is why you know Sky's questioning. Okay, your mother's missing. We're going to Korea, and then now you're pregnant and all this other stuff. So I guess she's pregnant by Rob. I think that's her boyfriend's name. So, anyways, um, yep, Young Bay is pregnant. She's having a baby. <laughs> so, anyways, we see in the previews that oh shit, it's gonna be getting into it with Alex because Alex takes his clients or whatever. And then we have in a preview where you know Sky feels like Young Bay is lying about her father unless somebody emailed or got some information to Sky to let her know that because as confident as she is in the situation, somebody must have put a bug in her ear or put a worm or an octopus or an oxtail <laughs> or a worm in her ear, and now she knows what's going on. So anyways, tell me what you guys think about the situation. <laughs> By this, Instead of going on a scavenger hunt to find this, um, to find, you know, Young Bay's mother, they should have been on a scavenger hunt to get Sky's older son back in her life and help him any way that he needs on camera and film with him and let him get his what he needs to stay out or whatever. Because if you think if this is fake, like damn we just waste we just wasted mad time watching this shit. So peace and my one love.